Hey guys, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on PSDVault.com YouTube channel. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial to show you the method I use to create this uh, magical uh, floating rock effect in Photoshop. Alright, let's get started. All right, as you can see, just to prepare for this video tutorial, I made a separate document uh, to demonstrate the uh, steps. Already got the ground layer prepared. I'll briefly mention the preparation of the ground layer. What I did is I used one of these uh, rock stock image here, made a selection of this rock piece, copy and paste the selection onto our document. Um, just uh, use the free transform tool to slightly perspective this uh, rock texture. Apply a, um, a layer mask onto this uh, rock stock texture as well, just to hide a portion of the rock. So just just to increase the depths. And then I added a uh, just a level adjustment layer here, just to increase its contrast. Painted some cloud over the ground texture. Now we have a ground all prepared. All we need to do is to add a floating rock in the center of the canvas. So I've got another piece of rock stock image here. So what we can do is we can go into this uh, quick selection tool, make a quick selection of this rock piece, and copy and paste that rock piece onto the center of our document. I added a layer mask onto this uh, new rock layer and just to tidy up its edge. Um, just wanted to smooth out some of the rough bits. So I'll show you the before and after. So this is before without the layer mask and this is after. So on top of this uh, floating rock layer, I added a level adjustment layer as well just to enhance its contrast. And uh, as you can see, I've got uh, some layer mask applied onto this level adjustment layer as well. Because I don't want the entire floating rock layer to have the level adjustment applied. Okay, so once we make, make the, uh, the rock ready, we can use the lightning brush that we downloaded. So I, just to make a new layer. So as you can see, this layer, I set the layer blend mode to darker color. So I'll show you what happened. Just make a new layer here. Uh, just use a sort of like a cyan color for the lightning. So if you can, if you pan over the rock like this, if you, so this is under the normal blending mode. So if you, if you change that to dark color, as you can see, on the, all the rest of the color will disappear and only the, the ones, the colors that's over the rock layer remain. So this is, uh, this is great for just adding some um, extra effect over the rock with the lightning, layer, lightning uh, brush. Okay, so we can create a new layer on top and this time we set the layer blend mode to overlay. So if you, if you paint over this um, overlay layer, you will see the following effect. As you can see, the, the lightning that's appear on the rock is m more visible than the rest of the lightning pattern. It's because the, the rock layer has got a, 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 a lighter background compared with our, our black background. So on this layer, you can just go, go nuts. I'll show you my result here. So 
This is my overlay result. Once you've done the overlay, just create a new layer and just set the layer blend mode as normal. Further add some lightning patterns on this normal lightning layer. So i am also made a duplicate of this, this uh, lightning um, normal layer and uh, just to enhance the effect a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so once you're happy with this uh, lightning effect, I've added a cloud on the top, so it makes makes the effect look like the the lightning is being generated from this cloud layer on top. Optionally, you can add more lightning effect on the left side just to balance out the, uh, the overall result. So just to make the whole image looks more interesting, I added a couple of uh, color adjustments. So selective, selective color is, uh, is a really great image adjustment thing you can do on this. So I added some uh, made some adjustment on the black neutral and white and on top of this uh, selective color adjustment layer I added a brightness and contrast adjustment as well as you can see, on both adjustment layers, I have a layer mask applied to hide some of the, some of its uh, adjustment effect. So there you go. Uh, that's uh, that's the creation of this uh, magical floating rock effect with uh, lightning brush. Uh, it's it's a really simple method and. The result looks uh, pretty cool. So I'll show you the application of this, re this result in one of the, my photo manipulation work. So as you can see, I've got uh, some floating rock appearing here, here, there. So it just um, just make the whole image looks uh, surreal, surreal and um, supernatural. Alright, uh, that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you're enjoying the uh, learning and um, find this, uh, this uh, method useful to your work. Until next time, have a great day.